If you're choosing to use tempera paint for your lava lamp, you're going to be a little more limited in your colors. So we have a very neon pink, a yellow chartreuse, and a green. We also have black and white, and we have mixing trays, so if you want to mix your colors up, you can. For this, I chose to make two different demonstration examples. Um, you want to take your pencil and draw out your design first. I want you to look at Jen Stark's work to get an idea on how to do that. You want nice fluid lines. You don't want any sharp edges. You're going to have a few different drips on here. In this small space, you can probably fit about four or five sections, depending on how large they are. You can choose to mark these out so you know where your colors are going, or you can just get started painting. In my first example, I just painted, um, and I kind of was all over the place with my color scheme, and I don't think it turned out as nice in the end. For my second one, I really took my time. I went one color at a time, so I marked every single place that I knew where pink was going to be, for example. I painted all my pinks first, then I painted all my yellows, then all my blacks, and then I finished up with white. I found it was easier to work one color at a time. My colors came out a lot less muddy. I would also recommend starting with your lightest color first. So you can see here that I started with black and unless you're painting with black and then letting it dry for an entire week, please do not start with black. It's going to make it a lot harder on you as you work. So don't start with black. You wanna go in, start with yellow, start with pink, start with your lighter colors and then slowly work your way dark. At the very end, I would recommend, once it's dry, going in to do your white. You don't wanna mess around with white while it's wet because it'll start to mix up with all your other colors. Really make sure that you're taking your time and remembering your craftsmanship while you're painting. For this project, it's okay to go outside of the lines of the shape of the lava lamp because we're going to be cutting these out anyway, but you really wanna stay inside the lines of your design. You don't want one color to run into the other color. We wanna really keep these as separate sections as you're working. Also remember that this paint does not like water. So if your brush is wet at all, your paint's going to show up really thin and see-through. Even though my brush was dry as I was working, I was making sure that I was drying it on my paper towel really well, this neon paint still can get pretty see-through. So you might have to go back as your work dries and add more layers on to make sure that your colors really pop well. If your paint is see-through, then it's not going to glow under the black light. So you need to make sure it's nice and thick. You're gonna go back in and do a couple layers, keeping it nice and neat, fixing those lines as you work. 